Hi, I'm Katie and I work at Revitalise Health and Fitness Clinic, working on the desk and the hairdressers. So I thought I can either stick to that job and just stay in that job forever or start progressing into something else. I hadn't done a spreadsheet since school, so I was just like, yeah, I can do this. Everyone, everyone puts on their CV, yeah, proficient in Word, Excel, and then Elliot just pushed me to do more and more, so now I'm doing quite a lot of stuff that I wasn't doing, so I'm currently doing a spreadsheet for the um, population and wealth of the whole of the South East. So that's a big one. So I sort of wasn't really treated as an apprentice. So there's different osteopaths, chiropractors, sports therapists, uh, personal trainers, and everyone sort of like bunches together to teach each other stuff. So I wasn't really treated necessarily as an apprentice. It was more everyone was learning together. Naomi's really good at like pushing me because she knows that I can do better than maybe I've originally done on an assessment. So she just give me really good feedback and she'll explain what's good about it, what's bad about it. So she'll push me but not make, knock my confidence sort of thing. So she's really helpful. Yeah. So with Naomi being so on the ball with if I've got any problems, she's always there to help me. And Middleton and Murray are just really helpful because they accept all ages of apprenticeship. So anyone can start from wherever they want. But I think if you're gonna go into an apprenticeship, then you should go into an apprenticeship with that you're not just gonna get that qualification and stop. And I think that you should always choose somewhere where there is gonna be opportunity to grow further. I think I've put a lot into the business. And I think I've done more than what my job role entails. So I've helped a lot with the advertising and like external boards outside. I've designed all of those. So yeah, I'm kind of jack of all trades. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to lose. I think there's only gain in being an apprenticeship. It's a qualification, even if you don't it's something for your CV that you've put the time into so it shows that you're determined and that's good so it's just gaining really there's no loss. So when Katie first came to the clinic for her interview one thing that stood out more than anything was her raw potential and I think that as an employer that is probably the most important thing to look for. Academia is something that can be added over time but for someone to be naturally personable, empathetic I think those are, are raw qualities that cannot be found in everyone. From then to now, uh, Katie is extremely uh, competent with Excel spreadsheets, our, our CRM, so our, our client relationship management system. Uh, she's very good at predicting problems and fixing those problems before they even occur, which is something that me as a, a business owner, you know, I wouldn't even see it coming because I'm so busy so to have her like a meerkat popping up and make sure everything's right is and, and keeping an eye on everything for the rest of us uh, she's a huge asset to the zoo. When it came to Katie's development it was more about what was a mutual opportunity for both of us obviously for in terms of my opportunity it would be to offload uh, my time uh, or to free up my time and offload certain um, tasks onto her and I just made sure that I did so at a rate that was good for her I think that if I was to offload onto her at too fast a rate, she would have probably been working at about maybe 60% um, capacity when it comes to quality. So that in her terms of her development, it was about me looking out for opportunities to further her progression, you know, what would look good on her CV in the future, what would build her as, uh, as, an, as an employee, uh, and for me, what would build me as a business owner. I think in terms of stereotyping apprentices, I'm sure there are stereotypes out there that people might unfortunately put on apprentices. I think I've probably learned from a very young age that uh, people do tend to stereotype and I was probably trained out of that uh, at a very young age and how damaging stereotyping people can be. I think that it would be extremely disadvantageous for me to put the responsibility of Katie's growth on her. It would make the whole process very passive, but I personally took responsibility for being able to empathise with Katie, being able to understand her perspective, and uh, always backward, backward engineering what I, what I needed from Katie, where she's at at the current stage, and making sure that I was as active as possible in getting her there at a rate that was enjoyable for her. The reason why I approached Middleton Murray is because we were going through a growth phase at the time, and while going through a growth phase, you've only got a certain amount of capital until that is exhausted. So the opportunity to have an apprentice was very appealing 
because you are protecting your cash reserves. But at the same time, it meant that I could take someone who was relatively fresh, who hadn't been kind of spoiled by any other in, in employees to a certain degree, um, and it enabled me to, I suppose, mold Katie into the type of, of employee that I really needed. Um, so two reasons why I went for Village for Murray. One was uh, making sure I was keeping on my cash reserves, and second was the mutual opportunity for her and myself at creating an, an ideal and employee. In terms of Katie's opportunities in the future, with her help we've doubled turnover uh, within a year and we expect to do the same whilst we open more clinics. So Katie's role will evolve from just a clinical manager to a district manager uh, where she'll have to manage the appointments and the performance of multiple clinics. The amount that you can gain through finding an employer that is passionate about you, an industry that you're passionate about, being self-aware enough to be able to know what you're good at and to know what your raw potential is and to invest in that raw potential. Uh, you could be losing for the first 20 minutes of a football match and come around and have a, a massive comeback. So I think that young people value their time too little on, on the important things and too much on the bad things. So I would shift your time to invest in yourself and to be uh, as valuable a part of a team, of an industry, of a community as you can be. I've been able to marry very seamless to deal with, very uh, frictionless. I think that helped me to really focus on the things that I needed to do. I didn't have to waft about as much, so credit to Middle Murray for making it as frictionless as possible.